Hello everybody and welcome back to Chellington 17. This is the remake of Chellington from 15, believe it or not. And yes, we are in the middle of a harvest. So we're going to get that finished off today. It shouldn't take very long. So once that is done, we'll find another job to do and go from there. Okay, so here we are in the Massey Ferguson 7719. Yes, it is. Uh, we are heading over to field number 11, where worker F is busy. I think it's rush hour here. And I would say probably about 66% of the field is done. Keeping it very precise. There's the harvester over there. And yeah, you can see, mostly done. And what there is left here will be done off screen anyway. So, uh, I did check on the poll from yesterday's video, and it seems, obviously at the time of doing this, that the IT runner pack is leading by a very long way. I'm surprised. I thought that buying a baler would be the priority. We can still bail this, because we'll be using the round baler. It's just, as I haven't used the square baler before, it would have been nice. But that can be in the next poll, the next interactive poll. So we'll be able to, uh, well it can be in there again for another chance probably. So uh, I'm going to sit here and wait for it to finish. Better yet, what we could do is get the JCB going. We'll put it onto uh, this baler. It's highly unlikely that the baler, buying a baler, is going to win the poll. I think it's last. So we might as well just take it up there ready and possibly even start. But we do need to have an auto stacker if we're going to use this because it's going to take so many bales it's going to be uh, probably what would it be about 50 bales from that field something crazy so there is no way i'm doing it with the front loader even though in real life i should think a lot of farms would just use a telehandler it's just it would take me forever literally forever fs19 would be out before i finish that field it's true. Here we are. Field 11. And the harvester is ready to unload. Fantastic timing. Okay, so if we just transfer tractors, we'll jump out of this one. Get into this one here. Then we shall unload. I think by the look of it we're going to have to finish off some of the harvesting ourselves instead of a worker. Just because of the peculiar shape of the field. Or should I say the interesting shape. Nice to have ones which aren't totally square. That's the thing I don't like about the base game maps. They are just too square. Whereas a lot of the British maps are much more interesting in that respect. Even though... The base maps are packed full of detail. The squareness of the fields, it, it can get a bit much. So if they're a bit more interesting, um, it would be better. But I can understand why they've done that. The reason why I think they're square is, so you have a good experience with the worker. Like if you had a field this shape on the base game map, it wouldn't be very good as, well basically as we saw at the beginning in episode one, the harvester driver decided to go straight up instead of sort of following the curve so yeah if you're new to the game you probably think it wasn't very good that it was doing that so I can understand the square fields on the base game maps okay so um, yes I think we'll take over we will I'll turn that off when we get back down to the bottom again I'll turn the JCB's engine off if I haven't already right just five percent full and there is some over there too which needs to be finished off so plenty to be getting on with but I don't want this video to be too similar to yesterday's video so we can't just do harvesting no way gonna have to find something else to do um, it would be nice to do the animals but yeah this is the interactive series so I can't do it without everybody wanting to do it We'll just have to do something like bailing. Or maybe a quick map tour. We shall see. I have considered 
putting the autosave mod on, but I have decided against it as it saves every five minutes and you get a very slight sort of um, pause in the game. And I think if it did every five minutes in the video, it would probably get quite frustrating. So I haven't put it on, although it is very frustrating if I forget to save and there is a power cut. So maybe if there is a way of adjusting how often it saves, I might get it. It's just five minutes is too much. It's just a little bit too frequent. I think if you're playing on your own without doing a video, five minutes would be ideal. It's just, yeah, <laughs> we don't want to have the pause in the video. Right, okay, so there we go. Okay, so next topic is Dagawin Extra, which is indeed my new channel. I did mention it yesterday, and it is in production. Now this is going to be a channel where I do basically any game is requested that is requested or that I feel like doing. I don't have an awful lot lined up yet, but I am going to be doing Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, which I did put in the poll in, multi in the multiplayer video a few days ago. So that is coming up. Also I've got a few little extra surprises as well, just some very short videos. So yeah, that will be in December. It's basically going to be any kind of video I think wouldn't really fit on the main Dagawin channel, which hence the reason why it's called Extra. So maybe ones which maybe aren't as good, um, although hopefully that won't happen, or ones which, yeah, just really wouldn't fit with the Dagawin theme. That's what it's there for. And you can indeed now subscribe if you want to. I'll put a link on the screen and down below. But one thing I won't do is keep spamming you with it because if you're not interested, you're not interested, I get it. Um, I think most of you have come here for either Farming Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator, which I will be doing very soon. We'll be going back to ETS alongside, obviously, Farming Simulator <laughs> because Farming Simulator is an everyday occurrence. We have it every single day without fail, purely because it's a fantastic game. Right, so that is that section done, we'll head down here. Not much to do here, so just finishing off, and then finally the bit over there. There are some uh, very big mounds of straw where we've stopped at the end of each um, swath. It's incredible. When the baler goes over it, it's probably going to fill it up about 20% each time. So that's that bit there, we'll wait for it to come out the back, and we'll spin round get this bit. So this harvest is almost over. I think it's been a pretty good harvest despite the very low yields has been very low. Um, it could have been better but at least we didn't have to pay for the crops to be put in in the first place. We can now do this as well as we want to. So we'll fertilize it, we'll spray it and everything. We'll do it all as we should. Right. Okay, we'll switch it off and we need to head over to the other side. So it's literally just this bit. I think what I'll do is just quickly put on a worker because it is so close to being full. And we'll jump into here again and unload. So that will be virtually two full tanks into the trailer. Three tanks fill it, but because we're unloading on the move, it means that we're getting more in. So it won't be too far off full. There we go. That is enough for now. And um, we'll just head up here. Because there is a tiny bit left to do. Put it there. Here we are. And that really is the whole field done. From the minimap, it looks like quite a small field, but certainly in real life, it's not at all. It's much bigger than that. Uh, which really does make you think how big is field 15? It's like three times the size. We'll have to do it one day, but not with just one harvester. As that would be a little bit crazy. I think it would probably take about three days in real time. 
maybe not quite that much, but it would be a bit slow. Uh, especially with the 25 foot header. Anyway, we're done. So we can now move on to the next job. I'm very tempted to do some bailing. It's just I didn't really want to do the bailing with the round baler. So we'll have to think about it when we're taking this back to the yard. We'll, we'll take this over to the store as that is where our new header trailer is. We'll take the header off and then get it all set up ready for the uh, road road use to travelling. And yeah, then we'll be able to head back as a convoy to the main yard. Pulling out of here could be quite tricky if we get a rush hour again. I usually do. There's a car there. Uh, we're okay. It's our lucky day. And that's in a position where I've got plenty of space to go around and take it off. Thing is, this could be too big. The other trailer was not too far away from being perfect, but it was overhanging. And on here, well, yeah, you can see, it is just, the header is too small for the trailer. So maybe there isn't a perfect size for this header. Who knows? Get it hitched on, get it into transport mode, and we'll be off. Funny how, uh, Looking at it at a different angle can uh, really make you think you're lined up when you're not. Right, that should be okay. Push it around there and get it into the entrance way. There we go. Right, over to the Matty Ferguson and then we're done. 83% full it turned out to be. Not bad at all. thing is though, that is still about, what would it be, £9,000, maybe eight, which isn't incredible, it could be a lot better, but I suppose we're not doing terribly badly for finances at the moment, I mean it could be a lot worse, uh, some vehicle is right behind us, so we'll pick up, we had the momentum behind us so we just had to go for it. Yeah, this is a narrow bridge. And I don't think we need to weigh it, we'll just get it tipped straight away. Chellington is basically, to me, Chellington is the silaging map. It is the map where you just do silage after silage. A lot of people would find that quite boring, but actually the majority find it very interesting, especially as multiplayer. That's why Chanton has always been a very good multiplayer map. So what can we get out of this? Eight to nine thousand my guess is going to be. Maybe I'll be surprised in a good way. Yeah, nine thousand one hundred and eighty seven. So actually above what my highest prediction was, which is good. Very good indeed. Okay, so over to the store. Get some to follow me. We'll leave the JCB at the field because we probably will be bailing it with the round baler if this vote continues the way it is doing. Off we go. And yeah, before too long, the animals will have to be worked on. But we need money. Money is very important for the animals because not only do they cost a fortune, but also the equipment just to keep them managed is like really expensive. So we've got to be very careful. Now the best place to go is probably over here as we need to lead the way with the harvester. Far easier having the tractor following us rather than the harvester following us. It likes to do some crazy things. It's a madman who drives this. That's why I was wondering if we could name the workers. Like we could actually call the worker madman or something. Yeah, precisely my point exactly. Can we go down here? Is this a shortcut? I think it is, although this could be hilarious when it all goes wrong. Would you stop ramming into me? You need to be set to 15. There we go. That should work. In all fairness, that could have been the car's fault. Could have been. 
Oh, this is bumpy. We could be losing a header down here. Wow. It is bumpy. So we need to get this track managed. Top tip, if you're going to drive down here, don't try and open a packet of crisps at the same time. They've gone everywhere. I remember this place. It's a good place to clear up the crisps. Right, so this is basically, I believe, just a like a, a scrapyard kind of place. A dumping ground for all the rubble. There isn't really an awful lot to do here. Although we probably should make use of it. I never did in 15. But we could put some bales here. As there's some bales on display here. We shall see. And there's our field. We haven't got very far. But this is technically a shortcut. Although I think it would have been quicker to go down the road. Oh, there's the big field. The grass field. Oh, there's a story behind that field. I cut it in 15. I think it was... It was either Chainsaw Extended. Or, yeah, I think it was Chainsaw Extended. I can't remember. Anyway, I cut it. All of it. And I had just got to the end, forgot to save, and there was a power cut. And yes, I was not half annoyed. <laughs> it took about, in, I think in real time, because it wasn't a very big mower, it took about two and a half hours. And I lost it all. I had to do it all again. Uh, yes, that was a day to forget, I think. Yes, it was not good. So for all of you who are asking about if this is going to be available on console, I believe it is. It is going to come to console. So that is something to look forward to you for all of you console gamers. Wave the harvester, there it is. Good, and yes, it's going to be out very soon. So there isn't much of a wait left. I can just see it being an amazing multiplayer map, just like it always has been. I don't know if we'll have it on multiplayer or not. The thing is, you see, I've already done so many videos on it in 15. We might have to do a different map for the multiplayer one. We shall see. I've just had a really good idea. If buying the IT runner pack wins the vote, what we'll do is we'll get the flatbed trailer attachment for it, and then we'll use our voucher over there with the front loader. We'll then bale a trailer load's worth of round bales, and pick them up, put them on the trailer, sell those bales, and then with the money, we'll buy the auto stacker. Seems like a very good way of doing it. Um, otherwise, we are literally just going to be buying everything without even having the money to do so. Right, that should be stopped, I'm hoping. I don't want it to keep following us. And we do need to designate a tractor park somewhere. Over here could be good. I think that's the bail cell point. I think. We will have to see. Right, so that can go there. And finally, the harvester. We'll put it away. I think, really, round the back is the best place for it because we can actually manoeuvre it properly. If it's round here, it's quite hard to reverse, although... No, we'll put it around the back. Otherwise, we're going to be blocking in other pieces of equipment. And look at that. The header didn't fall off after going down that really bumpy track. That just shows that the locking script in 17 is pretty decent. Yeah, although this trailer was expensive, well, kind of expensive, I prefer it to the one. It's easier to manoeuvre with the rear wheel steering. And yeah, it's just somewhere over here. Perfect place for it. What used to be the storage field, it may well turn back into that. So there we go. Uh, beacons, yeah, make sure they're off. Have a flat battery. It's all closed up, and yep, yeah, that is all finished with. Okay then, so let's jump over to the JCB. Oh, I left the beacons on. Um, yes, we'll just bail a few. Just like the equivalent of what the IT runner can hold. I don't know how many it can hold, it's not very many. So it'll likely just be a headland or two. But, 
you won't believe how much I want a square baler. It probably won't be the in-game one. I think it'd be a mod because the in-game one is not only incredibly expensive, but it's also a bit overused. So it'd be nice to have something a little bit different. Right, so press Y. Oh yes, and there is also a tractor which we'll eventually work towards. It's not very expensive, I don't think. I've not seen the price, but from guessing, it shouldn't be. It's in here, most likely be at the end. Yes, there it is. It is the Fent Farmer 300 LSA. It's just one of those tractors I like, so when we can afford it, we'll get it. But obviously, we're not going to rush into it. The money is, uh, where well, it needs to be spent somewhere else, like the animals or something. Well, by the look of it, it's going to be spent on the IT runner pack. But that may well change. We shall see. Strange, the yield we got out of the grain wasn't very good, but the straw seems to be brilliant. In tomorrow's episode, I will be doing some more comment readouts, so please do post as many comments as you want to, as many questions, and I'll try and reply to some of them. Obviously, it's very hard to reply to them all. It tends to be quite a lot. But yeah, just post a comment, and you, know, you never know, it might be answered. Possibly. I try to answer them, but there is just so many, and a lot of them are quite similar. So, yeah. I'll do what I can. I don't know why, but this field sort of reminds me of the Bold Kino map from FS15. I was playing it this time two years ago, so a long time ago. In fact, it was one of my first mod map Let's Plays. And somehow, I think it's part two, has just taken off. I think it's had about three million views. It's just unbelievable. And when you go back to that video, well, it's, I find it embarrassing. Because I go to it, and it sounds like I'm asleep. I have no enthusiasm at all. I don't know why. That is the first headland almost finished off. And we've had so many bells out of it. We don't have a bell counter, unfortunately, but you can see the spacing between them. I suppose it could be better, but I've seen worse. Way worse. When we use those conventional bales, we would probably get in the region of 2,000 bales off this field. Oh, those conventional bales, they're incredible. They're flying out everywhere. Almost back to the beginning. So in my opinion, Chellington is one of those maps you'd want to play if you're a fan of large open fields. Um, like, there's no... well, I don't think there is actually. Pretty sure most of the fields don't have trees in the middle of them, like little islands. I think they are mostly open. So really good for that, those big pieces of equipment which you couldn't really use on the smaller, tighter British maps. So there's a lot to be said for it, but I suppose, yeah, if you're one of those people who wants a smaller, tighter map, this probably isn't for you, even though it is British. Okay. Yeah, that's where the UK can really vary. Like, you can have, obviously, hill farming, which is just totally different to, for example, an arable field in the Fens. Massive, open, flat fields. Um... Yeah, Britain does tend to get quite a stereotypical name for the type of land it has, uh, where it actually has everything, pretty much. Right, so this can go over here, just getting out of the field. Um, we'll park it up, and we'll wait and see what the vote reveals. Okay, so there we go, and let's just head back to this farm. JCB loader here. I put a bucket on it as standard, we do have to buy the other attachments. Um, I wasn't going to buy them all because it would just be ridiculous. But it's going to be, the main place for this is going to be down the bottom here. I could use it for moving bales, but I think probably the tractor will be better for that job. And we still have the chickens as well. So if I just put this down at the manure, then yeah, that's the best place for it for the time being. 
We might get the placeable, well, I don't know if they're placeable, but yeah, the buy bales mod. We could go through here. Um, although we'll be fine with the straw bales, we might not be able to get any silage bales straight away. So there is a possibility they'll have to be bought. Yeah, I'll just put this here. I wonder if you can put narrow wheels on the fence I want to buy, as that trailed sprayer is going to require something like that. Uh, nope, you can have rear twin wheels, you can have twin wheels, or standard. So that definitely isn't the tractor for the spraying. We might have to modify, well, I suppose this one, not sure. But yeah, something's going to have to be done somewhere. Do we have anything in storage? If we do, we could sell it, but it's not looking very promising. No. We don't. Okay. Hmm. Right, so it's going to be a bit of a waiting game until we get the vote result, and then it'll be all hands on deck. We'll be able to know exactly what we're doing next, and then we'll be able to obviously work on it. If it's buying the IT runner pack, we'll go and do the bales. If it means buying a baler, obviously we'll create the bales. And if we're buying field number two, then what what stage is it at? Let's just have a look. Field number two is ploughed, I think. No, it's not ploughed. How could it be ploughed? Ploughed. Strange. It's the colour of ploughed, but then it needs ploughing. Oh, well. I'm guessing it means cultivated then. Oh, no, that means cultivated. Who knows? Let's just have a look. It'll probably be easier. It is ploughed, so I don't know why it will need ploughing. Probably just because it's the first time. So, we have a huge potential for this field. We can put whatever we want into it if we decide to buy it. Uh, it might be worth seeing what it's actually worth. It's worth £300,000, so what we'd have to do is work towards buying it by doing other jobs. Uh, so, I, I kind of hope this doesn't win. There is a scarecrow over here with a lampshade on. Oh no, it's just straw. Something quite scary about that. I just went down to film 14 just out of interest to see what it's actually worth. You can see it's a huge map. Um, before I click on it, try and guess what it is worth and then I'll show you, okay? Have you got a figure in your head? Right, does this match it? 1.2 million, roughly. 1,270,889 pounds. Um, yep, that is expensive land, but I suppose it is an absolutely huge field. And a very nice rolling landscape as well. So, um, yeah, I've just noticed actually, there are no missions available on any of the fields, so I'm guessing contracting isn't working yet. I don't know if it's supposed to be. But yes, it's not there at the moment, so um, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to do it or not. Anyway, that is pretty much bringing this video to a close. Uh, oh yeah, we'll have to cut this too. Do we own it? No, we don't own it, so we're going to have to wait until we can afford it. How much is grassland? Technically, grassland is cheaper than arable grade. Yeah, it does seem cheaper, because that is quite a big field. But probably roughly the same. Okay, so thanks for watching. I look forward to tomorrow's episode when we'll know the results of the poll. And then we'll be doing one of three things. We'll either be buying field or working towards buying field number two, I should say. Buying a baler, a, a square one. Or we'll be buying the IT runner pack. At the moment, I think one of the options is a long way ahead of the others, but two of them are sort of neck and neck. So it could be quite interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video wasn't longer, it will be tomorrow, and until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.